What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. Okay, so, first is first. I would like to uh, I would like to apologize to you guys for the last episode. Yes, good old Draven has forgotten that he shouldn't have battled every single trainer near the Diglett Cave area, which resulted in me replacing the Professor Oak glitch with an old episode that I had in my old Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough, but nevertheless, you guys got the episode and you now know how to use the Professor Oak glitch. Don't make the mistakes I did for this walkthrough, just, you know, it is what it is, guys. So here we are in the new glitch episode, and uh, well, what you need right here, if you're doing this early on, you need a Pokemon that knows Teleport, and this is where this Abra comes in. Make sure to heal your Pokemon in the Cerulean City uh, Pokemon Center, because if you teleport and you're Coming out of Vermilion or something like that, you're SOL right there. Now, the reason why I have a Clefairy right here is because, well, this Mew is not that strong. And, well, Sir Razor eh, is right here for the Sleep Powder and all that stuff. But, like I said, guys, if you're doing this early on, make sure to have a Pokemon that knows Teleport and Seeing or Sleep Powder. That way, it goes, uh, well, this whole thing goes along easy. Uh, if you're doing it later, I believe Fly and Dig can actually work when it comes to activating this whole uh this whole glitch right here so what needs to be done right here now is that we actually have to go straight up to the nugget bridge and we actually have to find the trainer near the grassy area near the nugget bridge now as many of you guys already know Mew is a an unobtainable pokemon in generation one if you guys are 90s babies like i am you guys probably remember the Mew rumor that there was a truck next to the ssn and there and if you use strength in it, you can actually obtain a Mew, which was a total lie. But then this came to be, the Mew glitch. And believe it or not, guys, this is actually the legit way to actually capture a Mew without a game shark. So what needs to happen now is you actually have to have a very quick uh, finger for this one right here. So let's go ahead and see if we don't mess up. So there's one, two, three, and there we go. Okay, so once that happens right there, guys, make sure to actually press the teleport button on your Pokemon so it can actually teleport you back to the Pokemon Center. Once you do that, the trainer down there is actually going to start or it's going to activate the whole battle sequence. So let's go ahead and press that, warp to the Pokemon Center, and BAM! The cheat has been activated, and BAM! Okay, so the next step right here is we actually have to go upstairs and we have to go to the route that leads to uh, what was it? What was his name? To Bill's Cottage. Now there is a trainer right there with a slow poke that you need to actually battle in order to get this uh, this cheat activated. So the good thing is that we actually have Pokemon that can actually defeat it, and we did not beat this Pokemon trainer at all. So let's go right ahead and find that trainer. And as you can see. The trainer's gonna be located right there, so what you need to do now is go upstairs, and he is gonna locate you right here, and Dad took me to a great party on the S's hand at Vermilion City. So go right ahead and start battling this Pokemon trainer. And bam. So now, the game has already registered the whole Psychic type Pokemon, and what you need to do is you just need to beat this guy right here. Luckily for us, we're way over leveled, and here you have Slowpoke defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so there it is. We have defeated the youngster, and he is not mad. So now what needs to happen is you actually need to teleport one more time. And this will actually trick the game into thinking that you're actually, you know, doing the whole thing right here. And what you need to do now is you actually need to go upstairs again, straight to the Nugget Bridge. And once you reach the first part right here, the game is going to get triggered and your your start button or your starting uh, options are going to be open automatically. So now this is where you're going to be battling the Mew. Press the A or press the B button and bam, the glitch is activated. And as you can see, Mew has been, well, Mew has been activated right here. So what is going to happen right here now is that I'm actually going to switch out to Clefairy because it's a much more reasonable Pokemon to actually battle this guy. And the only move this Pokemon has right now is Pound, so you just got to make sure that, you know, 
you have a Pokemon well within the level of, uh, of Mew right here. And as you can see, Clefairy is actually putting up a good match against Mew. And, well, here we go again. And what's going to happen now is we're going to go with Sir Razor so we can actually put this Pokemon to sleep. And Pound Attack, not going to do anything, just takes 1 HP. Let's go Sleep Powder. Now, if you're doing this early on, guys, it, it would be Seeing Attack. And there you go. Mew is asleep. This will make it easy for us to actually capture it. Have a buttload of Pokeballs. And there we go. There's one. This Mew is going to be a little bit hard to actually capture. So just remember to keep uh, keep a lot of Pokeballs stored in. Luckily for us, we do have a, you know, a Sleep Powder. And there you go, guys. We have caught ourselves Mew the legal way. Without a Game Shark or anything. And bam! Mew, the new species Pokemon. When viewed through a microscope, this Pokemon's short, fine, delicate hair can be seen. And, well, as many of you guys already know, I do have a nickname for this one Pokemon right here. Yes, guys, we are nicknaming this guy Mew De Uno, just like in our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu game. And, well, if I could find something, let's see, let's go to the lower case. And uh, there's no, there's nothing right there. So, Let's go ahead and go Mew de Uno. Mew de Uno. Meaning, there we go, Mew de Uno. That's what its nickname is going to be. And bam, Mew de Uno has been transferred to the Pokemon Center. What does Pikachu have to say? That's right, it registered as a legal Pokemon. So there you guys have it. The legal way to actually capture a Mew. And, well, that pretty much wraps it up right here for this episode. Stay tuned, guys. The next episode will be our last one for Pokemon Yellow. You do not want to miss it. We're going to be going through the Cerulean Cave to go ahead and capture Mewtwo. So, yeah, stay tuned for all that. If you guys haven't hit the, notice, uh, the subscribe button, the notifications button, it's right down there below. And if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, link's right there down below. I'll be back for the final episode of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. Stay tuned, guys. I'll be back in just a little bit. See you guys.